original idea was to create a restaurant that was 100% vertically integrated into the ranch. Create something new that looks like it had been there forever and use as many, many products of the ranch that we possibly could. Well, the ranch doesn't produce petroleum, but we have a lot of firewood. Thus, the wood-fired kitchen. It's essentially a piecemeal, put together, all wood-fired kitchen. It's not like it's on purpose that we're looking to reflect the region. For me, it's important to be a good neighbor. Our producers are our friends. Our producers are our neighbors. We produce a lot of our own food. So by default, we become indicative of the region, but not as a goal. So this week was one of those magical weeks where we actually got food quality sardines. One of my favorite fish. We season most of our fish with salt, ground fennel seed, and olive oil. So all we do is we, we, we sort of hot smoke them with uh, thyme from our garden and lemons from our, our ranch. Slice very thin. We made a fresh cabbage salad. We made this, this Marin lemon vinaigrette. And that's it, it's just, it's really simple. It's the, the cabbage, the, the fish that's grilled and hot smoked. Oh, and then we've got our tomatoes coming in online in the garden, so we cut the small tomatoes in half, took the seeds out, and semi-dehydrated them in our smoker this morning. And then just that sweetness and the sour from, from the vinaigrette just, just makes everything simple. The quail is probably the, the, the most classic dish for us here at Malor. Uh, these are farm-raised quail. They're raised here in the valley. We work with the producer. He leaves the, the quail on, on the food for us about two more weeks than his normal quail that comes to, to market. So for me, it's really important to have just a little bigger, little bigger bird. So today we served it with a black bean puree, quick pickled radish. The pickle is a, a three to one pickle, three parts vinegar, two parts water, one part sugar. Boiled, just put in any aromatics that you want. We make a chorizo powder. We roast chorizo, then we put it in the blender, and then we roast it again to kind of get the fat out of it, and then we put it back in the blender so it creates this, this texture that's it's like chorizo sawdust. And then because we're using a, a pepian vinaigrette, we take also pumpkin seeds and toast them, chop those up and add it to the chorizo powder. Purslane, which is growing everywhere here on the ranch, and then the pepian vinaigrette. And the third dish we did is a fish that I really stand behind. Pacifico Aquaculture here in Ensenada is an extremely responsible company, and they basically ship their, their fish all over the world. So we've started to really rely on their products. So right now we have asparagus coming out of our garden. So we grill the asparagus, all the trim and all the waste from the asparagus, we make a puree. Venus clams, which are farm-raised here locally on the Cortez side. And then with all the bones from the striped bass, we make sort of a bouillabaisse broth and mount that with some olive oil and some butter. Everything that goes on the grill is very basic. It's seasoned with a little bit of oil and salt and pepper. And it's all the condiments that come with the dish that really brings it all together to become the statement that he wants it to be. My cuisine, my kitchen is, is so ingredient based. And so we're not about techniques and and you know, how can we do all the magic? It's about you know, finding the best ingredients literally in the market and, and then not, not fucking them up before they get to you, the diner. Other than being married to the most phenomenal woman in the world and, and having the most beautiful daughter in the world, those two things are enough right there, right? My wife and I started a wine project two years ago, so we're in our third vintage this year. It's called D Squared. Well, as all these other restaurants and all these other places open, our numbers keep going up. 
So for me, that means that people understand our message and, and people want to consume responsibly and, and people want to understand this ranch experience that we're trying to share with people. And people care about what they're eating. You know, you vote with your fork every single day.